It's very hot in here. Ever since I made my granny square top, I have been desperately wanting some granny square pillows. And since then, I have had my eye out at the thrift store and I found myself a pillow, Kate. That inside pillow. And these are not all my colors. So I kind of got a color palette. I don't know, is this a cute color palette? Might be too many colors, but I'm just gonna try. Might be too many colors, but I'm just gonna work on the first gray square and see if I like it. If I don't like it, I'll keep making them until I like it. And I'm gonna be just doing a basic granny square, this right here. I'm gonna be making these. So I am doing the basic of the basic of the basic granny square. Not because I like it the best. I, I do really like a basic granny square, but because I thought it'd be a lot quicker just doing a simple granny square. I didn't have to learn a new one, no fanciness in there. It was just basic, but and it still took some time to do. Unfortunately, I just forget that granny squares actually do take time and they're not they're not quick no matter which one you do. I'm, I'm, I'm not very good at dancing, but sometimes you just gotta, you know, shake it off. And then also you need a dog break. If you have a dog or an animal, like if you have a cat or something or a bunny or a pig, just, you know, sometimes you just need a little pet in between. You work it, work it, okay? You need breaks. So I decided for this granny square, I wanted it pretty big just so then I'd have to do less amount of granny squares. So I have a lot of rows there. I'm very happy right now because I just, I crushed it on this granny square. It looks amazing. It is gonna go perfectly on my couch. So this is it. See, 448. So I don't have that much time. It's 448 in the evening. It's, you're confused. It's not 448 in the morning. I don't have that much time to get a ton tonight done, but I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna just put on a movie. I think I'm gonna just go watch Twilight. Haven't watched that one in a bit. There's five movies, so I could get on a roll there. I also wanna time myself how fast I can do one. So I just came out here to enjoy the AC unit, enjoy the cold, and Benson right here is under the blanket. It's 28 degrees in here. So we're just gonna take a quick break from the video because today's video is sponsored by Pila. If you haven't heard of Pila, they are this amazing Canadian company that make these these phone cases right here. So personally, I've been using Pila's cases for over two years now, and right now I have the booby sister case. But my favorite thing about Pila is all of their cases are 100% compostable. Sorry, I just wanted to be a little dramatic with that. Which is amazing because next time you need to upgrade your new phone, you don't have to feel bad by throwing a plastic case in the garbage. You can simply put your case in your compost. And if you're like me and you drop your phone a lot, personally, I drop mine like every single day. Pila's cases are great for you as well because they have a military grade drop protection. Did I tell you guys they're made from plants? Yeah, all of Pila's cases are made from plants. So if you guys wanna try out Pila and get your own biodegradable phone case, I do have a coupon code for you guys. If you guys use the code Jenna at checkout, you'll actually get 40% off your purchase for the first 50 people. And then everyone after that that uses my code will get 20% off. Well, I'm gonna go sit on the couch in front of the AC unit and figure out how long it takes me to make one of these. I'm hoping like 20 minutes. So originally I went out there to go watch Twilight and watch all the movies in one day. But then um, my husband was watching the track and field, the worlds. Um, so I ended up just watching that all week. So I started the granny square at 5.07, 6.02. So definitely not the 20 minutes I was hoping for, but I was getting slightly distracted and I wasn't 100% focused on my granny square. So I'm gonna say, 30 to 40 minutes it takes me. Okay, not 30. Probably 40 minutes to do a granny square. Good morning. Morning. So last night I ended up getting six squares done, which I'm very proud of myself. I was up till 10 o'clock doing these squares, but I'm very happy I did. Cause now I have a good start to my day today. I did one this morning. I was watching a movie, just having a great time on the couch. And now I have Seven. Seven cakes done. So I have to do 11 more today. Actually, I'm gonna do a little sneak peek for you guys. I am just going to lay them on top of my pillow here 
and see how it looks. It's beautiful! So I put my movie back on this morning. I started working on my crochet again. I was watching Shutter Island, I'm pretty sure it's called. Great movie, by the way. I just saw a little clip of it on Facebook videos and um, it kind of got me hooked. I'd never heard of it until Facebook videos, a, a video on Facebook. And that was really wild, that movie. I was not expecting a lot of things. It was... great movie so if you're looking for a movie good one also another thing i was thinking about while watching the movie and crocheting was this garlic broccoli i love garlic broccoli it is the best thing in the world i had leftover it was just sitting in the fridge so i wanted it so badly but my husband was on a meeting a very important one so i thought it may be not that great to just start up the microwave and just start going at it so i had to wait that broccoli slapped it really, really did. I don't think I have eaten that many vegetables in I don't remember how long, but man, I could eat those broccolis every single day, all day, every meal. I think I could. My granny square. I am on the fourth one today. Haven't got that many done yet, but I'm thinking for this next one after this, I'm gonna start standing because I sit every single time I'm crocheting because obviously that's what's comfortable. But I think I gotta get into standing and walking. Okay, I finished it. So now I'm going to try to be active or better for my health. I don't know, just, you know. Healthier than just sitting here. I'm gonna try to crochet a whole granny square standing. I feel like this would be a lot easier if you had like a standing desk of some sort. Well, that sucked. It's more fun sitting. I think I'll keep to sitting and crocheting. I have 13 squares done! 13! All done! And it's 4.15ish now, so I still got a good amount of the day left to finish the other five squares. But, on the weekend, I went to a wedding, and on the way home, a rock popped my tire. So I thought we'll get it now. And it's like 30 minutes away from my house. So it's gonna take a little bit of time before I get back. So just a little background on this. My car does not come with a spare tire. So if it pops the tire, you have to get a tow truck, put it on the back of the bed, and then take it to the place to get a new tire. And it took like a week, but that's why it was on a tow truck. <sighs> okay, I woke up this morning like 13 minutes ago, I realized I am making something that's gonna sit in my house while it's beautiful out. It's beautiful out, it's summertime, it's crochet season. Why the heck am I making something that's gonna sit on my couch? I can make that anytime, but I can't enjoy summer clothes anytime. So I decided as of like 13 minutes ago when I woke up, I'm gonna turn these granny squares into a skirt Anyways, last night I didn't get them all done. I'm working on three more this morning. I got a little bit done, so I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to be focused here and get three done extremely fast so then we can finish off this skirt and then maybe, oh, I'm gonna wear it tonight. I'm gonna go up for dinner and I'm gonna wear it. That's my new goal in life. So I'm going to sit right here and not move until I have all three done. I am so proud of myself right now. I sat in this chair this whole time. I didn't get up once and I finished my three granny squares in an hour and a half. That means it was 30 minutes each granny square. Next step, I'm gonna put it into a tube. So before we start, I'm just gonna triple check to make sure that three by three is gonna work. Okay, sweet, it works. 
So every time I do a cranny square project, I attach them the exact same way. So if you've watched multiple of my videos where I've done granny square projects, you've definitely seen me do this technique where I just go loop here, loop there, loop here, loop there. And I just do it for the whole thing to attach all the granny squares. Yes, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but I think it looks pretty good. I don't know, some people do like a single crochet to attach granny squares together, but I just kind of like this method. It's, it's the same thing as sewing or not sewing. Yeah, sewing. I meant knitting. It's the same thing as knitting. Okay, guys, need to see this. It's not even done yet, but I just have to show you guys how the skirt's looking. <laughs> I am so excited. Look at this. It's not even close to being remotely done because, like, I can, like, put my hand all the way through the skirt in many places. I still gotta patch that up, but oh my goodness, now that it's a tube and I can hold it up to my body. Oh, I love it. Now I'm just gonna go along in the tube-like formation, the circle, around in the circle, just connecting all of these holes. And then we have a couple more steps. Okay. Next step, I am going to do a little cheat with this. I'm not doing 100% crochet because I want elastic waistband. But pretty much I'm trying to recreate this waistband right here. Nice and stretchy so it doesn't fall down. But other than a sewing machine, I am using a couple other supplies. One being this elastic right here. I think it's like three quarters of an inch, two centimeters. And some pins, just regular pins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew along the bottom of this folded part here, and I'm going to leave about two inch gap. So I'm going to sew all the way around until two inches before I finish it, because that's when we're going to insert the elastic. But I just want to close it shut first. So for the elastic, I'm not gonna have it right at my like waist up here. It's gonna kind of sit on my hips. It's gonna be around like my belly button. So let me just measure that. I feel like that feels good. So now I just gotta sew the two ends together. No, no, that would have been bad. <laughs> I got a little too ahead of myself. So now I'm just gonna take the elastic and I'm gonna feed it through the top of the waistband here. You can either do it with a safety pin or just your hands, I guess. So now that I have both of them hanging out of the one end, you just wanna go ahead and make sure it's not twisted because the first time I ever did this in grade eight, I specifically remember this. I had the band twisted. And then sewed it and then realized after it was twisted. So then I had to cut it and then sew it again. And then the last one was too small. so. It's, it's a pain. Just make sure it's not twisted before you go ahead and sew these two pieces together. Well, it's finally that time in the video where I'm going to show you guys the final piece. I have it on. It fits great. You don't really care what I'm saying right now. So I'm just going to scooch back up. You guys can do a drum roll in the meantime, and then while you're doing the drum roll, I'll pop out and I'll, sh I'll show you the skirt, okay? Ta-da! Ta-da! Well, here is the skirt. I am so happy with my skirt. Yesterday, I thought I was gonna end up with a pillowcase, and today, I have a skirt. It's crazy how projects can change from a pillowcase to a skirt all in one day in crochet. Like in sewing, I don't think I would change a project midway from a pillowcase to a skirt. Probably not, but in crochet, you just never know what you're gonna end up with. You might start with a bikini and end up with a scarf. But anyways, I give this two thumbs up. I'm definitely gonna enjoy it during crochet season. And if any of you guys do attempt to make a pillowcase and then turn it into a skirt, let me know down below in the comments if you are going to make a pillowcase and then turn it into a skirt, or if you're just gonna make a skirt or just make a pillowcase. Let me know down below in the comments. 
But that's all I really had to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed making this skirt with me today. If you did like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment on my video, bell notification. I think I said everything actually. Follow me on Instagram. Okay, well that's it. I'm actually done now. So I'm gonna go eat, enjoy my skirt, enjoy the sun, enjoy this beautiful day. But as for you guys, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in my next video. And also enjoy outside too, if it's nice where you are. If you're in Australia, then enjoy the snow. <laughs>